Hi friends, a small video on multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is defined as the malignant proliferation of the plasma cells. When there are number of plasma cells present, these will lead to the plasma cell dyscrasia or you can call it as multiple myeloma. The etiology is unknown but the most common translocation that we can see is T1114, Q13, Q32 that can be a part of your multiple choice question as well. The other chromosomal alterations that can be seen are 13Q14 deletion, 17P13 deletion and 11Q. The most important thing is symptom because the patient will come to you with the symptoms only. So the symptom is bone pain. So generally it is a middle year old uh, person, male or female both, who will come with bone pain. But the most important history that they will give is of pathologic fractures. Pathologic fractures means uh, uh, it is a very small amount of hurt that you get, but the fracture is quite major for that. Like uh, it's just a slip uh, while walking and there's a fracture. So pathologic fractures happen. Now how do these pathologic fractures happen? Because there are bone lesions. So this is the bone but there are lytic bone lesions like round uh, like punched out bone lesions are there from where the calcium has come out. Calcium has come out in the blood. Now the bone is almost weak because the bone is almost lytic uh, almost broken not exactly broken but there are punched out lesions everywhere the bone has no calcium it is weak and therefore pathologic fractures are so common now the calcium has come in the blood this will lead to hypercalcemia there's lot of calcium in patients who have multiple myeloma i have seen a calcium of 14 also and of 20 also so these patients have a very high calcium levels and because these patients have a very high calcium level this leads to load on the kidney and when there is an excessive load on the kidney ultimately it leads to kidney failure or renal failure because there is renal failure you will see that there is a high creatinine value also now because of all these things these patients are quite susceptible to infections and have loads of urinary tract infections as well so how do you diagnose first the patient has high calcium then the patient has punched out bone lesions especially on the skull you can see this can be a part of your mcq and then you can see that the patient has high creatinine but the classic triad is maroplasma cytosis with more than 10 percent of plasma cells and lytic bone lesions in radiology and m component that is we see through biochemistry so maroplasma cytosis in pathology in radiology you will see lytic bone lesions and m component you can see in biochemistry now if we see the m component First, we see the plasma electrophoresis, uh, serum protein electrophoresis, the albumin, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2 and globulin. This globulin, gamma globulin, this gamma globulin, you can see a high spike. This is the monoclonal band. This is the M component or the M protein that you call, which is seen in cases of multiple myeloma. To justify it, we do an immuno immunofixation and you can see IgM, IgG. IgA, Kappa and Lambda. Here you can see a spike in IgM and Kappa. So it is mostly because of the IgM cells and the Kappa that this multiple myeloma is caused. So you can see that the component was IgM Kappa monoclonal component for the multiple myeloma. That's all for multiple myeloma. Thank you.